Hey guys, welcome to NZ Wheels Bangsa and today is a very auspicious day for Mercedes because they are launching three models and previewing one. So the first one we have is the facelifted version of the Mercedes GLS 450 4Matic. So basically this is a facelift with some minor details in the front. You get a new grill and also at the back you get new lights but the main difference for this car is in the interior which makes it the S-Class of SUVs. So what they have done is same mechanicals which basically translates into a 3 litre V6 with 381 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque. Dimensions, it remains the same. The wheelbase is 3135 mm and overall length of 5205 width is 2030 and the height is 1838 so guys this is as big as a 4x4 pickup truck yeah but of course it's a lot more luxurious so the GLS 450 comes with air suspension and double wishbone aluminium uh, type suspension 22 inch and huge brakes so the air suspension is what makes this vehicle stand off from the others because it is very very comfortable and of course height is adjustable and you get a very nice step here for you to get up and down the vehicle and at the back you see also ventilated this and a multi-link suspension and of course it's air too new a new feature for this is the power closing door in other words it sucks your door in look at that Most of the work to the 450 GLS is on the inside to make it more like the S-Class. So this is the S-Class of SUVs. So they have added in the additional wood trim to make it look good. The other functions are the same. So the only difference is of course you get this power closing door, that suction type. And this one also has an off-road mode and on top of the off-road mode they also have what you call a transparent bonnet which i think is a camera in the front and you can see it activated through here to see what's in front of the vehicle because the bonnet is rather high so the luxurious items here are the same with everyone and uh, seats are nice leather with stitching and everything is very very nice and luxurious so there's nothing about a Mercedes that you can complain about like, in terms of luxury. And of course, now we have this dual screen here. One long screen, but two uh, meters here. This one is for the driving instruments and that side is for your uh, infotainment and your settings. And up here, this is a very nice toggle switch here for the suspension to raise or lower. Of course, everything must be done with the engine started. This is not an electric car. It's a mild hybrid, so we actually cannot start the engine in the showroom. So when we actually get the car to drive, we will show you more of it. Of course, aircon controls are here. So one thing good is that they still have some analog controls, which makes it easier. Because to put everything on the touch screen is not exactly the best thing to do. The steering is about car size, about 13 and a half inches and it's leather bound. It's a bit flat here to give you more clearance for your ties and of course it's got pedal shifters. The transmission is all-wheel drive of course and it has nine speeds. So there's plenty of flexibility from the engine, there's plenty of power. At the back they made it more comfortable to give it a more luxurious setting for the owner to make it more like a chauffeur driven car. Of course it all starts with a panoramic sunroof that gives you very good vision and it can be closed. Is it? Yeah, it can be closed. There's a blind here and you get two screens for you for watching your infotainment. Aircon controls here for the rear driver and seats are of course leather and even though it is made for three people, as usual with these type of vehicles, you don't want to have more than uh, two people at the back here. And this is a larger armrest, which they are very proud of. They have got a wireless charger here and more. You can have a little cubby hole for things here. So the drink holder is 
right here in the front and of course there's also a bottle holder at the bottom here uh, many many speakers this looks like a very very sophisticated sound system unfortunately we cannot test it today okay so let's check whether the seats can slide yes they go forward and yeah it's electrically controlled so as you can see you can also recline and also the headrest can be adjusted so all electric that's very good and of course there's also another two seats at the back so this is a seven seater okay that's our very quick take on the mercedes gls 4504 matic the price 999888 so you get uh, a little bit over 100 ringgit back if you give me a million ringgit gentlemen this is the badge you want and this is the nameplate you want once you made it in life this is the vehicle you want to drive the Maybach GLS 600 formatting. A large front grille with an elegant demeanor with Maybach emblems plastered all over, multi beam headlights, two tone color with attention to detail, 23 inch wheels with large brakes, and an SUV body with a Maybach emblem prominently displayed at the back. The Maybach GLS 600 comes with four or seven seater, but it looks like four seater is the way to go. Inside, you get the first class treatment, fully reclining seats together with extendable footrest, so you'll be like a first class passenger in an aeroplane. In the four-seater configuration, you get loads and loads of space, your own infotainment center. You even can have your champagne in this refrigerated ice box here. Then you have your own little chair table, just like in the first-class aeroplane. And you can use it for your lunch or to do your work should you be the busy executive who can afford a MyBuck. <laughs> you also have a wireless charger here and also USB ports. Plus, this is also a refrigerated or heated drink holder. So you can keep the temperature of your drinks constant. And of course, the view is really great with a panoramic sunroof and even the aircon pampers you because you have your aircon louvers here on the pillar and also up here. So definitely you'll be very nice and cool. Hmm. So this is what life as a Tauke is like. Okay, so how much for this lap of luxury car? Only 1.918 million. That's on the road without insurance. Okay, we have a lot of cars to show today and this one is a preview guys, it's a preview. The car is not launched, some of the specs are not finalized, but yes, this is the CLE 300 4MATIC. So what this car does is it takes the best of the C-Class and the E-Class and combine them together into a coupe that is really, really nice. So as with all sporty cars, you will want to know what kind of powertrain it has. This one has a 2-litre turbocharged engine, 258 horsepower, 400 newton meters of torque, and drive is to all four wheels. So we get a very sleek coupe shape, two-door of course, and you get a very nice long bonnet and a lowered bonnet line with large sporty looking grille. And the headlights are new, and these are digital projection lights. In terms of dimensions, this car has a very long wheelbase, 2865 mm. Overall length is 4850 mm, width is 2041 mm, and the height is 1422. Yes, this is another one of the cars that's shorter than me. Along the sides, you get 19 inch wheels. These are Goodyear Eagle F1s, 24540 R19, and double wishbone suspension 
big brakes. These are, wow, huge. They look like they're either four or six spot, more like six spot brakes, so you don't need to do much to the brakes. And you get, of course, a very nice silhouette. And it goes to the back. And these are staggered wheels. The back wheels are 275. And they are also 19 inch, but I think it's a lower profile. And these are Eagle F1s do. And then you have rear ventilated disc and what looks like a multi-link suspension. So suspension wise, this car has got all the ingredients to handle well. And it's got all wheel drive. So therefore, it's going to be pretty good on the roads. So at the back, you get, of course, the coupe setup, and this is called the CLE 300. This one looks a lot better than the previous coupe, and the lines are very neat, and these are, of course, uh, LED lights. To open the boot, and it's electrical. There is a reasonable size boot. You can put two or three golf bags. There's no spare tire. And here, you have this little interesting thing, your tapau hook. The interior is really nice. Carbon fibre finish, large screen here, and another instrument screen here. So this retains all the elements of a sporty car. You get soft touch. This is, of course, carbon fibre and hard touch. So it's a good combination. You get this very lovely console here this one opens up drink holders with a little thing here that allows you to keep your drink in place without rattling yeah uh, type c to c and this is the little cubby hole here another two type c um, power points so you have plenty of usbs electric start pedal shifters and i think this is the nine speed automatic gearbox and yes this is 4MATIC which means it's all-wheel drive and it's going to be quite potent on Genting. Okay, in so far as the seats are concerned it is quite luxurious it is leather or could be artificial leather nowadays a lot of car companies are going green they try to stay away from using cow leather so this could be synthetic you have headrests that are adjustable here from the switch here so at the back is quite okay. Uh, headroom might be a bit compromised. I'm uh, 1.6 something and I only have about 2 inches. So yes, this is basically a driver's car and you can only afford to have smaller size people at the back. Rear seats are not reclinable. Fixed position and a little coat hook here. That's about it. Pretty simple. And how much is the price? We don't know yet because this is a preview. The car has not been launched, but it's a teaser to show you what's coming. Yes, this is it. The best of C and E class put together to get you a CLE Coupe.